I have no idea. I guess I uh, just run into the ball. Uh, guys in front of me doing a great job. Dante, Eli Handbeck, Jack Powers, uh, Drew, they did a great job up front, uh, keeping us free, letting us run to the ball. And uh, the corners, give it up to them today, uh, like five interceptions between our, our DBs, so hey, I give them all the credit today. Just guys doing their job, staying together. Uh, it got a little shaky at, there at the end. Uh, you know, we would have liked to have longer drives on offense, I guess, but our defense just went out there and, and played and played and played. And uh, that's big for us. And uh, J Mac with that forced fumble at the end and, and to score on defense, that's what you want to do. Six turnovers and a score on D. Can't ask for much more than that. Coach Ruff says to us, we got to take it, you know, because they're not going to give us anything. You know, it's not going to just fall into our lap, no matter how big of a lead we got. You see, you see they, you see they were trying to come back on us, and it, and my, that was my thing is just take it, take the wins. We got to take them, everything, everything. You know, from January we've been working hard, and we, and that's what we got to put into it. You know, it's just, just everything we've we've worked hard for, the tempo runs, qualifying the practice, all that. We just we did those for a reason, and that and that reason was to get wins, and that's that's what I wanted everybody to do, is just keep fighting. And just take the wins. Jordan Mack, I mean, it's Jay Mack. We expect that from him. You know what I'm saying? He, he's no he's no freshman, he's no rookie, he's no first year. He, he's Jordan Mack. You know, he came here to play and that's what he's doing. He's putting on the show. And and then Bryce, Bryce Hall, mm -hmm. two interceptions. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like our, our DB stepped up big. That's what we needed from them. And that's what and that's what every every game we just gotta get better and better and better, you know. And like Jordan, like I was in when Jordan Mack hit hit that dude. You know, I was on a double team and and I hit him. I'm like, yo, like woo, woo, <laughs> like he rocked him. You yeah. know, and that's what we expect from him. You know, he just flies around. And I talk to J Mack after every play. You know, yeah. let's go have fun. Yeah. And, and he's not he's not no shy guy. You know, he's I got your back. Let's go. And that's our whole thing is the brotherhood. Yeah. We we all fighting together. It means a lot to the older guys, and just we fought the adversity again. It got close towards the end, and I think it's really good for this team. It'd be It'd be nice to win a game on a blowout and everything, but I think building this character and this resiliency is going to really pay off in the long term. I mean, I don't know what the percentages are, but I feel like every time we get in the red zone, we're going to score a touchdown. And uh, that's just the mentality. Um, we expect that, and uh, we work hard at it. We work hard at our red zone. Um, we have an entire script for it, and we're just – we know that games are won in the red zone and they're won on defense. So after I was telling the other guys after I threw the pick, it was like, dang, I really might have just blew this. But then I looked out on the field and saw the defense; they weren't shaking at all, and they just came. They came back. They had a six turnover, and they had a big stop on fourth down, which was huge. So this that defense I was telling them is not one that I would want to play against right now at all.